What's going on guys? So we are still out here at the Palomino Paws factory where they build all these absolutely amazing Overland off-road travel trailers. And uh, yeah, we're getting in deep to truly understand what makes these things so special. We're gonna do some really cool tours, show you the battery systems, show you how these things are really set up and what they've done from a, a materials and components perspective. Hope you enjoy the video. Hang tight, we'll be right back. Okay, so Austin is picking up from, uh, at least for this. So this is kind of a sneak peek teaser. I don't think anybody else has had access to this thing yet. So everyone's getting kind of a behind the scenes look at what is gonna be coming. And this is kind of new too, because manufacturers are usually really tight lipped about new floor plans. But what's interesting about this is nobody's copying this floor plan because nobody's building an RV like this one, right? right? Yeah. So and that's if, very cool. If they, if they are trying to, um, it's not with the same components. Yep, so this is a single axle version that is gonna be coming soon. Um, I think I see a shower right there yep. inside. So I'm guessing front, bed, oh, dinette in the front, shower, bed in the back. Am I right? Close. Close, okay, Close. You, you don't have to give it away. Um, yeah, so the idea, the idea behind this is to give you a, um, a lot of the same, obviously the same components, the same uh, structural foundation that the, that the 20.2 and 20.3 stand on, um, but on a smaller uh, frame. The, Something a little yeah, lighter too, right? right? The idea is to kind of, you know, get the, the people that, uh, that don't have the huge trucks but still love uh, overlanding and outdoors uh, stuff, if we could make something that was a single axle and just slightly bit lighter. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, that is cool. Do you have any idea what the GVWR on this is, is planned on being? I don't. Um, well, if you're at 7,500 roughly dry on your other units, I'm gonna theorize that we're probably gonna be, what, about 5,500 on this one, maybe? I, I don't know what it's at right now with every component, but we're shooting for about 4,500. Oh, okay. Well, that'll be awesome. That'll be really awesome. I could tow that. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. All right, so we have a piece of the sidewall here. Looks like it was a door cut out. Yeah. I was right, yeah, was door cut out. All right, so they're gonna do the sledgehammer test, but they actually got their most violent employee <laughs> with the sledgehammer to test this out. And this is the goal here. We're not saying that this is unbreakable. We're not saying that this is unbreakable. I, I actually want to drive over one with my excavator to see what happens, but it's not unbreakable. But you compare this to any other sidewall structure on any other RV in the industry, you could pretty much say it's unbreakable. So we got, what was your name? Justin. We got Justin who's gonna demonstrate the strength of this wall. We're not telling him to, to be easy on this thing at all. Let me see that sledgehammer, it's not foam. That's a real sledgehammer. All right, so Justin, ugh, there you go. <laughs> Start swinging at it, and what I'd like you to do is, I'd like you to break it. Break it. And not, again, we're not saying that it's unbreakable. We're just saying it's not breakable in the way most people might assume. So I'm gonna stand back a little bit. All right, have at it. It dent, it barely, no, it actually recovered. It doesn't even feel dented. Okay, so that's one swing. There we go. But you know what? You didn't go through. You, you split it, but you didn't go through the material at all. So grizzly bear attacking your RV, you're still doing pretty good. to think you're hitting four points you're hitting in the middle yep. so you're distributing weight a little bit differently than what would be in a row well and it's hollowed out we're not laying it on just a right. flat surface right. too so there's there's nothing underneath this area exactly. it is still pretty dang rigid okay just one more swing we don't need to be here all day right all right everyone agree were those some pretty hard swings ding, ding, ding. <laughs> give them a round of applause thank you so much that was awesome so yeah, again, not unbreakable, right. but pretty dang unbreakable. So you didn't puncture the, the skin at all. The skin was completely puncture proof. It was what happened was the core, that, that polypropylene. Absolutely. Broke. But you didn't go through at all. Through either side. And yeah. this is the only part. And that part right there is still, I mean, that it's, is it's a rigid uh, material. Yeah. Now the key here is 
it was over this portion that he was swinging. Yeah. So there was no back bracing to this. Zero. This was essentially taking the full brunt of the force and then possibly passing that energy through and you still didn't penetrate it. That is absolutely insane. Thank you so much, man, I appreciate it. All right, so we got Dylan back. Dylan, we're gonna talk about technology, solar, and batteries right now because this is also game changing. You, you don't see this kind of stuff in virtually any other RV. And if you do, you see more generic brands, you see lower end equipment. So talk about what's inside of this unit and then what you can optionally get and also what's on the roof. Yeah, so we're pretty excited about our electrical system here and it's actually all set up in the rear cargo storage area. So this is our electrical system. Uh, what it is, it consists of our Victron and also our Battleborn batteries. So what we have is a 3000 watt Victron inverter. Then we have a 240 amp solar charger as well to go along with that. And then standard, we have two 270 amp hours of Battleborn lithium batteries. And on top of the roof, we have six 100 watt solar panels. To upgrade, what you do is essentially just double the amp hours of lithium battery and double the watts of solar. So to upgrade, you get another two 270 amp hours of lithium batteries and another 600 watts of solar. And those will be located on the side of your trailer. Okay, those are foldable solar panels too, right? Foldable yep. solar So you panels. have the 600 yep. up top and 600 additional in the back. That is correct. And, and here's a pop quiz. When people think of best of the best charging equipment inverters, what brand do they think of? Victron. Victron. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, it. I mean, buddy. that's the truth. You know, yeah. a lot of companies put Renogy, a lot of companies put GoPower. Both are legitimate companies. Yeah. You know, I think it's kind of like Renogy, GoPower, then Victron. And you guys went with the best of the best. Yeah. Victron's what people yeah. expect and what they look for. And if you're going to pay the price that, that you sell these for, mm -hmm. you're going to expect Victron. Expect the best. Right? Yep. Very, very cool. All right, let's move on. Okay, so in front of me, you were looking at a finished product. This is, what model number is this one? 20.2. This is a 20.2, pause. Uh, this one has the full outside kitchen, which is drop dead gorgeous. I mean, this is just beautiful how this is all set up here. Let's see what goes on here. I think this flips up. I mean, just check this out. This is really, really amazing. Um, I always talk about things that I like and don't like about certain floor plans. And something I, I love about this is that they put a functional kitchen in here. They put a lot of drawers, a lot of utility, and it's all aluminum. So you don't have to worry about any of this stuff rusting or any of this stuff failing. Uh, a nice microwave outside, great grill, great cooktop. It all tucks away when you're not using it anymore. They have that cool little clamping system over there so you can use like utility hooks on it. It's just beautiful. This is a great, great outside kitchen. You can see the suspension. This is just a different setup completely in terms of the layout versus the unit that I've been reviewing. Let's go up inside of this unit real quick. I mean, check out all of the electronics, all the blinking flashing lights. Of course, this flips down, the bed flips over it. You have all your windows, your big sunroof up here that opens up as well. Nice mirror. I love the transition to the smaller sink. That is really, really cool. Um, one of the original units that I saw had this big porcelain sink right there, and it took up so much space. And in a compact RV, it's great to have some large items, but at the same time, you, you wanna maximize space, and they've done a good job with it there. Very, very cool. And I'm, I'm guessing the refrigerator in this unit is outside there's a there's a small um 1.3 oh wow yeah. 1.1 and then the, the, the 4.3 is outside yeah. and then you got a 4.3 outside yeah. okay so you got a small fridge inside and you got a, a larger fridge outside which is really nice you got a fireplace in here yeah. this is actually so if you get on the garmin you can put in you can set up a code when you put that code in it'll access this button right back here okay hit that button and then Ooh. you got a gun safe or a safe. Yeah. It will fit four fully loaded rifles with scopes, spot for arrows if you wanted to hang your bow up or quiver, um, whatever you want to keep safe. Shouldn't you be manufacturing this in Texas? I mean, <laughs> that's your clientele right there. That is really cool. And you have access to wirings and things that you need for serviceability. If you get that is it, so cool. For safety measures, if someone was to get locked in here, you've got means to get yeah. out. There's no way that someone could accidentally get trapped. Yeah, no, that is awesome. So that is cool. Coming around this way. Again, all aluminum cabinetry. Um, I like that you have drawers in this unit. So the only thing about the floor plan I have is that there's no drawers. And having a spot for silverware and stuff like that is huge. 
So that's another piece of feedback I'd love to give. We need some drawers in, in the floor plan I have, just for silverware, things like that. And even some creative options for it, possibly. Coming in here, more cabinetry. And then you got this absolutely beautiful bathroom. We can check this thing out. Tiny little sink, but it's perfect. I mean, for the size of space you have in here, this is absolutely amazing. And then you have storage here, fishing rods and everything else, but this could probably even be turned into a bunk area. That is super cool. A lot of storage, and it's easily accessible from the back garage area or the back storage closet, as well as inside of the restroom. That's awesome. But yeah, big, big, big fan of this floor plan. This is very cool, and it's cool to see the, the culmination of all of the innovation and technology to give you such a cool, usable RV. All right, so we're gonna wrap it up. Um, guys, I really appreciate you guys having me out here. I know we've lost a couple of people because this is a, this is a business and you guys have stuff to do, of course. So, But I appreciate who remained with me throughout the entire tour, <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, we tossed some suggestions around about some things as well. I love how open-minded you guys are to things. We Like I brought up a, a need for some drawers inside of here and instantly we run on the unit and they're like, okay, where can we put it? How can we do it? How can we configure it? How can we add pantry space? All this stuff, I love that type of innovation uh, because at the end of the day, who does it benefit the customer right that's that's what's going to happen people are going to love the unit more when we make when we make it better for everybody so that's awesome well guys i truly appreciate it thank you so much for your hospitality inviting me into your your factory today and see and seeing behind the scenes of what goes into these absolutely amazing pause travel trailers overland travel trailers off-grid overland travel trailers I mean, cool. Australian defeating off-grid overland travel trailers, yeah. All right. Anyways, again, thank you so much. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again real soon.